Louis Wimet, Mike Flanagan, Chris Schlimmer, back here, 2013 Bowl Expo. It's the Storm booth and a lot of buzz about us live streaming here today. Yeah? Yeah. It's been uh, well received and people from around the world checking in. Is that what we got going on? Yep. Sorry, and I, haven't, I haven't made it up here yet. I've been uh, pretty busy over here on the Rotor Grip side just explaining uh, all the new Rotor Grip balls coming out and... Uh, and even answering some questions from the, through the storm side as well. We just had a lot going on. And as you can see, you know, I'm sure you've done some cutaways to different parts of the booth with the traffic. Um, countless people have come up and said, hey, you guys uh, didn't want to interrupt you before. You guys are really busy. There's always a lot of people when I come by your booth. So people are, are kind of just waiting their turn to kind of get in because there's so many people circulating through our, through our uh, area right here. So it's good. Yeah, mm. sure is. And, and I walked around. Um, and talk to some of the folks in the other booths and the first thing they say to me is love your outfits today you guys wearing the all white everybody really thought it was a nice touch of us dressing up here today cool i mean that's and that was part of the deal of you know we always try and um try and look different uh than everyone else and you know we've done jerseys you've done polos you do this you do that and and you know it kind of came up and bill's like you know hey well, we haven't done button-up shirts in a you know in a while so um, yeah, it's a it's a good good touch of class, and it uh, you definitely know who work who's working the storm booth, and you know who's just hanging out. So it's good. Chris, you uh, I don't even know where to begin, but you have had an <laughs> unbelievable. I don't even know where to begin. Uh, no, I really don't because there was this you, one you time. have had Am so right? much success um, with this Roto Grip line since becoming uh, the marketing manager for Roto Grip. You had three balls release back in January. Yep, you had the. Uh, the Defiant Soul. Yep. Um, you had the Wrecker, and then you had this this ball that a few people like called the Disturbed. Yeah, just a couple. Yeah. I mean, and actually, just a couple people on the uh, the Defiant Soul and the Wrecker as well. Um, it, it's uh, I tell you what, it's amazing to me. Um, this is you know I'm I'm now about a full year into this position, and you know I've always wanted to be you know the creative part and be on the side, and you do this and you do that and. You know, hey, not every ball is going to be a home run. You're not going to, you know. But when you find those balls in the certain combinations and when people, when they finally started catching on and you're like, oh, man, this this ball's pretty good. What else we got? Oh, well, that one's really good, too. Oh, wait a second. This one over here. Oh, wow. You know, and it's even turned into the uh, the, the tour guys. Um, you know, and that's what I explain to people. Like, man, I, I see, uh, uh, you know, when I see Wes Mallott or Pete Weber or Jason Belmonte or Carolyn or who, any of the pro staff, it's like, They've always got a disturbed or a wrecker or a defiant soul is one of the first balls out of the bag, and it's and, you know so it's it's been a work in progress and like you said you nailed it is they've been really popular and um, and I think popularity comes also in in point with um, developing a product that um, is a, creates a good reaction that's that's really the key you know yeah and with these two I mean these three new balls you have coming out you release six balls a year is the game plan. Yes. You could yeah. surprise us at any given time and give us something else if you really wanted to. But right now, it's three and three. And with those three balls being that successful, mm -hmm. and now you've got the pearlized version of the Disturbed and the Deranged. Mm -hmm. You've got this new Totally Defiant that's probably the totally coolest looking bowling ball you guys have ever <laughs> made. And then you've got this Rumble, which is a new which is a new weight block. Right. And it's, it's new technology uh -huh. to complement the Wrecker. Absolutely. And actually, and getting into the, like you said, you mentioned the six-month uh, deal, and that was one of the things that, um, in, in trying to build a new brand direction for Rotor Grip when I took over and, and uh, you know, trying to figure things out, uh, being a, being from the pro shop business myself uh, from back in the day, it was a matter of what do, you know, and we talk about it all the time of, yeah, everybody wants a new ball, it's going to sell, it's going to this, but the reassuring thing now of the fact that you've got a ball, you know you've got six months to sell it, it makes it a lot easier to pull product through you know, when you put a ball on the wall and you go, oh, man, okay, well, this one took off. I sold quite a few. You can keep selling them for, you know, three, four, six months as opposed to, well, I'm only going to order two because I know in, you know, two months they're going to come out with another ball and this one's going to be, you know, obsolete. And it's not that balls are obsolete. It's just the manner that we want to try and create the variety and create the uh, reactions that we're trying to do. So, um, and, yeah, like you said, and actually uh, the summer releases are a little bit different. Um, this year we're going to we're keeping the screaming shout in HP1. We're actually adding two new colors. So, what we're doing is, uh, and also creating a little bit more separation in those with the uh, the screams still a pearl. The shout is actually now uh, comes out of the box sanded, so it, it's still a solid, but it comes out of the box sanded at 3,000. So we've now created uh, a more step down process 
from uh, from what we had before. So we got now got solids uh, with surface um, all the way through from HP4, HP3, HP2, and now HP1. Um, the having a little texture there will help create some variety as well. So it's uh, yeah, it's all coming together, man. Yeah, absolutely, and. Uh the folks in the chat have been asking a lot of questions, and we've got Mike Sargent and, and Steve Klimkin have been online watching and answering these uh, these these uh, answers right here. They're sending out links and everything else. So if you have a, a tech question, not oh, to nice. overwhelm those guys back at home office, but that just goes to show how much of a team it is. They see us out here. Right. You know, we've got all this stuff going on, and there they are just picking up the pieces and helping us out. Yeah, that's uh – like a relief pitcher clean, uh, picking up the spare. Absolutely. At least a middle reliever, at least. With yeah, Sarge. yeah, yeah. He's yeah. a middle reliever. Yeah, I mean, it's one of those things that, uh, again, and people talk about all the time, you know, the the reputation we've developed. And, and Mike does a great job. And even with Steve and the, and the techn answering technical calls and emails. And, um, you know, it's one of those deals what uh, I still find amusing. Um, and Mike could reiterate on this. He's still got some people that, that still refer to him, even when it's uh, – not exactly uh, products that we make. You know, we people are like, hey, I got this ball, X, you know, XB, they got this, got that, and then, uh, hey, how should I lay it out? And Mike still, uh, you know, still helps him along. Yeah, how's that koozie fitting? That little can. Yeah. Like R a glove. Roto Grip Kingdom. <clears throat> I like it. I'm going to have Louie chiming in over here. Check, oh, Louie. Check, check. Oh, I'm sorry, Louie. Hey, we got a shout out. Uh, Donemo says Rob. Uh, I, I believe it's Rob Amer, isn't it? From, oh, I know, yeah, uh, Rob Amer. Rob's Revolution Pro Shop in I Cedar Rapids, Rob. and yeah. yep. Don says that uh, something about uh, something about a pizza <laughs> for Rob. I don't know. <laughs> something about. I think a he's pizza. got a pizza on the way for Rob, and uh, nice. I know uh, that's kind of my home home uh, territory back there, Cedar yeah. Rapids. Cedar Iowa, Rapids. Duke. Yeah, hey, so, Louie. Uh, did you ever see the movie Cedar Rapids? I did. I did. I <laughs> you probably know where all those places are. I've partied in Cedar Rapids. Nice. Louis, can you go down there with Roger and the guys from Buddy's Pro Shop and sure. give me an interview? I, sure. Buddy's Pro Shop is one of the most recognizable pro shops. Uh, it's just right off to the right of the wheel there. Again? As you look at it. Yeah, we need to get these guys. He just got 20% off again. Did he really? How's that shot look? Yeah. Good. Good. Right up there. Okay, oh, hey, yeah. right up here. Above here there. we are right yep, here. There we go. Okay, we got Raj, uh, Raj, uh, Roger Nordhook, business development for Storm, and Chris Forey from Buddy's Pro Shop does all those great videos for us. Uh, how's things going at Bull Expo? Uh, great so far. Obviously, just funny. Got 20%. But Again? It's great. This is a great show, obviously, every year. I enjoy coming out. Uh, the Storm booth is awesome. Uh, but the deals that are given and obviously seeing all your vendors, talking to them, making, deal, uh, making some great business deals is the way to go. And how is your business doing? Oh, every year it keeps getting better. Uh, you know, I just think it, our customer service is much like Storm's. It's the best in the industry. And that helps out selling a lot of products. And, Raj, I know you have a pretty good uh, close relationship with Chris, and you guys are buddies, and you've been up to his place a few times, and you guys developed a good relationship, and it's great that, uh, you know, he can sell a lot of Storm and Rotor Grip balls. Oh, yeah, we, we're definitely uh, happy to have Chris on board with us, and, uh, there's some other things they partnered with us. Uh, he helped uh, instrumental in the VLS system, uh, working with them with Hank and Victor over the last three, four years. So uh, that's yeah, just one aspect. We sponsor events that they do. Uh, you know, we definitely work with their pro shop, doing matchmakers, trade shows, all kinds of stuff. So good. And hey Chris, what, what's the coolest part about your business? Uh, the coolest part? I would just say our interaction with our customers. And then also that we try to really gain a lot of knowledge about the equipment about how balls perform, uh, like like Roger was saying, like we really helped out with the VLS project. Uh, you know, we came out with the, our true layout system along with the vector layout system, and, and the two go hand in hand. It that that alone has really boomed our business because people have come to us because we we stepped outside of the normal boundaries of of how to drill balls and trying to learn how to do a better job and give it back to the customers and explain to the customers that there's more to bowling than what we've always been taught. And of the product line right now, what's selling the best uh, at your place between uh, like the Disturbs or is it the Gold or the uh, IQ Tour Pearl? Which one's the best uh, best seller? Uh, well, the, obviously the IQ Tour Pearl is a home run. Uh, but recently, uh, the Disturb uh, with Nationals going on that was be, that was the big hit. I mean, I used one of those at Nationals in our team event and we did very well. Uh, so a lot of people when they saw that we bowled well in team event were like, "What were you using?" Uh, so the Disturb was a ball of choice for myself and also for a bunch of other teams that we drove for. They're in the top ten. Uh, and then the Wrecker and the Defiant Soul, the, the last three Rotogrip balls 
have been phenomenal. I mean, they've, they've put Rotogrip back on the map uh, as far as ball sales. Uh, customers come in, and, and obviously, like I said, the IQ, IQ Tour Pearl, you, you know what it is when it goes down the lane. It's, it's gold. Everybody loves it. It's a great motion on all lane conditions. I prefer it on a lot of sport conditions. I find on longer patterns, it's probably the best ball I have in my bag uh, when the lanes are harder. You know, on the house shots, obviously, you can use anything, but when the lanes get a lot tougher, there's nothing better than that ball. Raj, what's uh? I know that you're cl close friends with Chris. What's uh? You're in the new uh, position with business development. What are so type of some of the type of things that you're going to be working on and projects um, that's going to help Chris? Uh, well, definitely, definitely the website. I mean, definitely uh, integrating Storm and, and and other facets throughout his site and uh, just working together more uh, w with that. So. Okay, Chris Forey, Roger Nordhook, back to you in the booth, Slum. Oh, here we are. We're back after a little uh, interview intervention right there with uh, Chris Forey of Buddy's Pro Shop, Roger Nordick, and uh, now we got uh, Flanagan. I don't know if he's going walkabout or what do you got going on here? He's jumping over to the top of me with cords and cables. And Well, what's awesome is most people don't know what what goes on behind the scenes. We've got another spin of the wheel oh, here. Oh, spin the win. Let's, let's, see see, let's see what they get. Let's see if we can make this mm -hmm. out. Oh. Tyler Jensen. What did what did they just win? They won a new car. What did they just win, Tyler? Tracy Thornton from uh, North Glen, Colorado, just won a new car. <laughs> <laughs> no, what did they really what did they really win? A new car. <laughs> no, what no what what do you have a up there? A master accessory package. Oh, okay, great. Awesome. Okay, just want to find out what those prizes are. Thank you, Tyler. Tyler might be the busiest working sales rep here today. Yeah, he's he's been on fire. Uh, he, He's a ham, and, and he'd love to be up here, yeah, but he's but too busy working. Right, and hes uh, I think he's already worn out the soles on those storm shoes. Oh, yeah, he's yeah. actually wearing them in the booth. Yeah. And the other salesmen are like, oh, man, this guy, another good idea out of this guy. You know, next year I'm wearing mine. So right. he uh, he continues to try to uh, invent the wheel and, and sharpen the saw, so to speak. So I like that, invent the good wheel, stuff. sharpen the saw. Oh, yeah, definitely. Nice. Mike Chadwick uh, also joining back us back in the booth he's he's producing um yeah so i just go pull things out of people's pockets mike welcome back buddy yeah thank you thanks for the microphone yeah no problem what are you what are you working on over here you i'm actually stuff? wanting you to stick this on the side of your head okay. or a headphone so that way i know which microphone is yours okay um, just stick it on the side there next to the mic okay yeah, just put it right there or you can put it up there. Whatever works for you. There We're just we trying go. to. Uh, now you're color coded. Color code our, our keyboard uh, slash soundboard slash headphones. So kind of know. Oh, what's this one do? <laughs> Instead yeah. of chasing it back and forth. I got you. Well, it could be like Randy who uh, muted the wrong microphone a minute ago when we had a, had an interview going. Oh, but, nice. You know. Yeah. Well, that's why Randy is never <laughs> shouldn't be allowed on this side of it. He should be more of the interviewed. Randy's good you know, at the talent. Part. Well, yeah, actually, yeah. actually, Chris, what we're doing is we're we're actually making Randy start do this, so he can just go plop down in a city and run the whole thing. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. Let's that's part of the it. plan. Let's get him cracking then.